Hello guys, so my name is Felita Brilliant, I'm the owner of Brilliant Massage and Skincare, and today I'm going to talk a little bit of um, keratosis and, and other minor skin irregularities. Well, they are, they're really non-cancerous growths that can happen on the skin, and they can actually be removed with a lamp probe, like high radio frequency machine like we have in our office or other devices I believe like laser especially for capillaries laser is good like telling astasia um, now it's usually like well the lamp probe is not invasive I'm not sure about other things like a dermatologist's office they actually might use some invasive like cutting or something like that but with lamp probe really it's not invasive it's kind of feels like a bee sting and any keratosis skin tag uh, cherry and geoma, like those red levels, like raised bumps, can be removed. Now, if it's something that appeared recently, it grew quick, and you feel any itchiness, any pain or oozing or anything like that, that's something else. I would go to dermatologist for that. But if you uh, would like to remove, like, um, those keratosis they usually kind of start smaller then they might start growing a little bit bigger probably oh usually over a long period of time and they're kind of genetic so some people are more prone to them and people above 40 usually have at least one or a couple of them and by age of 70 i think almost 70 percent of people have uh they're really not doing anything bad to you or you know they're only unsightly so if you maybe have some on your face or shoulders or whatever because more sun exposure can cause them to the keratosis now in terms of skin tax skin tax can be caused by something rubbing you know like a necklace on your neck or uh something um like maybe straps you know from clothing or hair armpit area people have them even on on their torso so it's really um kind of you know they just happen like overgrowth of the cells and same for cherry and geomas they're just like minor skin irregularities now oops that telangiectasia is um i just heard the fan by accident telangiectasia is like bro or, or broken capillaries so it's a little bit different which lamp probe can help as well but it's kind of depends on genetics how your skin reacts to them i found like mixed results with those but it can also be helpful especially if there's like a bigger red area like bigger broken capillary the tiny ones maybe the laser would be um more effective but we can always try you know and touch up as necessary if necessary skin tags usually never need any touch-up I had one removed in a couple weeks it healed usually the recovery time is a couple weeks to a month and um, one of our employees had uh, keratosis removed from the shoulder which I'll put a picture here and that healed up really nicely we had uh, some removed from people's face and neck and some people don't know what they are, you know, oh, just spot just like appeared and it's kind of like a mole, but it's not really a, a mole, it's just like a sort of like a growth on top of your skin and they can be, you know, brown, but also sometimes whitish, yellowish, different color, they can be a little rough, dry, they can get irritated, you know, and they might itch, but not, not for, not very often. Let me know if you have any questions about those things. And uh, if you do want to get them removed here in Burlington, Vermont, you can always schedule an appointment with us. And we'd love to see you. If you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate thumbs up. And you can also subscribe to this channel. And uh, leave any questions in the comments down below. Have a brilliant day.